Brandon. Hello. You are currently at Six Flags Magic Mountain. This is true, correct. So we have a broken fountain and a few other things that are going on around the park. Ugly. In which you're ugly. No. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna take you guys around the park. It is currently uh, spring of 20, well, is it spring yet? Is it spring or is it yeah, still winter? I think it's still spring. Sure, let's go with that. It's March, March of 2022. So I'm gonna take you guys around the park just to see what's going on and uh, things that have changed since, you know, over the past few years, uh, fountain. Let's go. All right, so over here towards the front of the park, as you can see, they are constructing some new restrooms. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but the, there used to be restrooms here. They were kind of, uh, I wouldn't say outdated. They were just kind of messy and a little nasty. But yeah, so they are currently constructing some brand new restrooms over here towards the front of the park. So that'll be pretty epic when those are done. And then so over here by the new revolution, it's not really new, it's also classic revolution. They can't make up their minds, but this is currently closed. Uh, because of the Tatsu repaint. Uh, I have been told that Tatsu is planned to reopen in, you know, the next few days. So Revolution is down for the time being, but as soon as Tatsu reopens, Revolution should be up too. With new colors comes new responsibilities. Touch and coaster nuts. You didn't even say it. Come on, nope, try again, Brandon. Come on, go ahead. Touch, coaster nuts. There you go, I'm proud of you. Let's keep going. Brandon? Yeah? What is that? Sunday the ride. It's Sunday the ride. Oh my God, Sunday the ride. You know what's even crazier about Sunday the Ride? What? Watch, let, let me show you something, let me show you something. As I was saying, you know what's even better about Sunday the Ride? What? Bench. Bench? How dare you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't just go up to a random bench and sit on it without consent. You better apologize and praise to the bench. All right, then over here by the brand new site of the RMC Raptor. This coaster has obviously gone vertical. Um, it went vertical a few weeks ago. Uh, I just never filmed it. But uh, yeah, in case you guys are curious, here is a just a little small look. I mean, you can see some of the other footage I'm using here of the construction progress. They have a lot of the supports done for the like farther section of the ride. It is a big out and back, um, like the area where the small turnaround is and the first giant raven dive. So yeah, um, I am somewhat looking forward to it. It's gonna be a cool new fit to the park. I have ridden Jersey Devil. I've probably mentioned that way too many times and I'm not too impressed with it. It's a fun ride, but it's nothing to go super crazy over. But yeah, it'll be nice to see this ride like, you know, actually operating at Magic, at Magic Mountain and have another RMC here. So yeah, that'll be cool. All the nuts are all over the place. Oh. <laughs> Poster nuts. <laughs> In regards to Wonder Woman, we have this nice beautiful red wall with all of these posters featuring the graphic designs and um, a wild Brandon in his natural habitat who is showcasing us this W. Would you like to explain the details presented here in this W? Yeah, it's a double W. That is true, it is a double W. Wonder Woman. But you didn't know that before. But yeah, this is, uh, for anyone wondering, this is conceptual rendering of what uh, Batman the Ride is gonna look like, as you can see. <laughs> uh, Batman the Ride is a new B&M invert 
nothing like we've seen ever before. It's a brand new concept. This is not a Google Maps background backdrop of the of the ground or anything. So um, yeah, this is this is gonna look cool. I guess that's that that, that used to be Teen Titans. Wait, no, that's the wait, pizza. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, this is where Teen Titans Pizza used to be. So I don't know if they're rebuilding that or what they're gonna do. Station? But yeah. What's um, this? New this, gift shop? I assume that's gonna be some sort of gift shop. And then obviously this is the station from Green Lantern First Flight, which is being repurposed, as we all know. Transfer shack, uh, storage, maintenance access road. And then here's where we where we just came from over here, the boardwalk. So yeah, it'll look pretty cool when it's done. And then of course, Rither's Revenge. Nice. Over here we have the demented Lex Luthor Drop of Doom, an attraction that Brandon refuses to go on even if it was open. All right, Didn't you just ride Dive Devil? Oh yeah, earlier we rode Dive Devil. It was fun. I like so that ride. Uh, because That's Tatsu's so closed scary. since we since since Tatsu was closed, we had to improvise and ride the next flying thing that we could ride. So, anyways, here we have Lex Luthor Drop of Doom, which has been SBNO for the past uh, I want to say three, four, five months or something. But yeah, so recently the gondolas have been reattached. Uh, because before then, they, I believe they were doing a total rehab or refurbishment of this attraction. Here comes Sun to the Ride, which is going to very rudely cut me off from my sentence, but... So anyways, the ride Lex Luthor Drop of Doom has been under extensive refurbishment. But this side of the gondolas has been reattached. I can't really see over there. Um, the top part is there. I'm not sure if the seats are fully attached to the ride, but they are present. So hopefully we'll be seeing this ride reopen at some point in the next few weeks, maybe by the end of the month. That'll be awesome if both this and Tatsu are brought back to operating at Six Flags Magic Mountain. But yes, that is Lex Luthor Drop of Doom and Brandon. Hi, Brandon.